No, he ducks back out in line to get to the right angle to the corner. Oh, the 27 wiggles on entrance. That'll give Mixie a shot at him. No, he gets up on the curb. Gary Mix rolled the curb hard as we come up to the white flag line. One more lap to go here in the Napa Auto Pro 100 Montreal. The NASCAR Canadian Tire Series putting on a wonderful show for this huge crowd. And now Andrew Ranger with some breathing room on second place driver Gary Mix. Ranger's got himself three almost four car lengths. Mixie's going to have to hustle hard. In this last lap, doesn't look like third or fourth place. Robin Bunker, DJ Kennington will play a factor here in this lead battle, but these two have yet to settle it. Andrew Ranger with about a four-car length lead on Kerry Mix. Is he too far back to do anything? Ranger's been worried about that transmission all weekend long. Right now, he's thinking about it. Can I get it into gear? Can I hit my marks? But you know what? Mix, he's got that wheels hiked it over the curb, got the wheels in the air. He's driving it hard to catch that young fella. Sliding the cars through the corner. Carry Mix as he works to try and catch the road course ace, Andrew Ranger. He won at most for second in Edmonton. Mix gains ground, going into corner number six. Mix, the oval icon here in Ontario, he's cut his teeth in all the short tracks, and he's proving today that he's one of the road course aces. But still, the 27 of Andrew Ranger leads into corner number 10. Mix is right there. He can lay a bumper on it. the crowd above these roaring stock cars. A capacity crowd and Ranger trying to break that trap down the back straightaway. He's got that right front fender hanging wide open and he's going side to side trying to break that slipstream. Mixie's inside. He's hard on the brakes. Straight as an arrow. There he is. He's got him. Oh, he the curve. Carry Mix saving the car. It's all over the place. He jumped over the curb. Carry Mix did. He had four wheels off the track. They're trying And the Castrol Dodge of DJ Kennington rounding out the top three. This is where it gets exciting up the backstretch. You got a short shift. Keep the motor down out of the RPM band so you don't spin the tires. Get out of the spray. Get out to the outside. Get away from the spray so you can see and haul the mail up the backstretch. Let's see who's got it. There's DJ. He's paying attention. He's out there. In the... Look at this. This is exciting racing in the rain. I'd be willing to put some money on Andrew Ranger. He is very knowledgeable at racing in the rain. He's done it in a number of open wheel series that he's come up through the ranks in driving, but just as I say that, he loses a couple spots down the back straightaway. Kennington and J.R. Fitzpatrick go around, still chasing the four-car year leader. We'll get another look. It's Thompson, Kennington, and Fitzpatrick. Boy, Thompson's taking it easy, and that's allowing these two drivers to close the gap. Kennington right there. So is the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick on the outside of quarter number two. Oh, J.R., that's a big, bold move around the outside of two. Fitzpatrick holding on. He gets around Kennington. He hangs on on the outside. Oh, he's, the down, he's down in the dirt with his teammate, Don Thompson, but he's in the preferred line. And J.R. Fitzpatrick, without a left front fender, took a look underneath the four of Don Thompson Jr. He's back on the gas. This boy is hanging it right out. This is going to come down. We're going to run up the backstretch. It's going to be a huge, wet drag race up the backstretch. And who can get into that final corner? Clean and mean. In the final lap. But the Dickies 200, and here comes Fitzpatrick on the outside of corner five. Big and bold around the outside. He's out of the he's out of the fast lane. This is working good. Now everybody to the throttle. We're all slipping and sliding up through the gearbox. Kennington to the inside. He's gonna get a toe. Thompson gave his teammate all kinds of room, but J.R. Fitzpatrick loose as he grabs a gear going down the end, ready straight away. And there's Kennington up into second. You can see the visibility issues they're facing as they head down the back. From this is going to be exciting. Three more corners to go, baby. Don Thompson Jr. a little bit too far back to make a move on the 17 of DJ Kennington. Your leader continues to be the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick through corner number nine for the final time. They're all being careful now. Fitzpatrick not putting that car sideways this time. Out of 10, down the front straightaway, the checker flag in the air, and J.R. Fitzpatrick's going to win. What a race. Kennington comes second all the way from the back of the field. John Thompson Jr. rounds out the top three. The 27 block and the 22. The 22 had a great drive up the front stretch there. And the 27 just used up all the racetrack. And Kerry Mix doing the same on DJ Kennington as he holds his position in fourth spot. Coming up to the white flag, there will be one lap remaining.
Brady here in the Napa 100. J.R. Fitzpatrick, can he hold on to win here in Montreal? He's just got to hit his marks one more time, and here comes Ranger charging hard, sliding that tight fusion. Andrew oh, Reed, J.R. Gets sideways. sideways, 27 going underneath J.R. on the power, spinning the tires and lost the top spot. J.R. Fitzpatrick once again a little bit hot into the set of S's and coming off, lost the lead. Fitzpatrick may have no rear tires left. He's right around in the 84. J.R. Fitzpatrick goes around into the wall. Scott Steckley avoids, but a huge plume of smoke. Now Andrew Ranger all by himself out in front. Wow, what a turn of events. J.R. Fitzpatrick around in a cloud of smoke. That's in the crowd reaction in about half a lap time when Andrew Ranger, look at them. They're all ready on their feet. This place is going to get burned down. The hometown kid is going at it. A year ago, it was the same scenario with Kerry Mix, and they battled right to the end. And there's Mixie and DJ getting into it right down to the last lap. That's the third spot. It's going to be the hometown kid, Ranger Andrew Ranger. Scott Stackler points later comfortably in second spot. You saw Kerry Mix get a little shake of the fist to DJ Kennington as they head down the casino straightaway. Andrew Ranger all by himself in top spot through quarter 15 or 14 and 15 for the final time. Now he'll pass the wall. onto the track. We're now four wide coming off at two and there's just no room as Thompson gets into Steckley. They both collide into the arm kill and over Steckley goes. So a big, big hit. Oh, we got a great replay coming for you here. We're going to go on board with Scott Steckley and watch this unfold. We're going to stay quiet. to the cool box. I mean, my God. Going into the last hairpin, there will be contact. Just where? Yeah. Where and when? Here we go, boys. Down in here. Great passing zone coming up. Lapsovich is there, but I don't think he's going to get close enough to take a shot at. Under the bridge coming into turns eight, nine. This is where we just had the recent caution. 
We're on the final lap here in Montreal. It continues to be Andrew Ranger, followed by Jason Bowles, Don Thompson Jr., and Jeff Matsovich. Bowles is close, but can he make a move? He's going down on the inside. Right, Hard on the brakes. To They're going to touch. Him. He does. He Bowles punts him up and run. Here we go. Punt him out of the way, and now Jason Bowles will continue and on. And Lapsovich is stopped coming off a of turn number 10. Bulls down the straightaway for the final time. Rangers in tow, but he might be too far behind. Jason Bowles out of Ontario, California. He was third. He was second. Now trying for the win. Here Back comes time. Ranger. Is he going to punt him? Is he going to punt him? He will. Oh, he gets right underneath. Bulls up to the wall. Ranger's going to go Ranger. after the win. Ranger is going to grab it as Bulls will hit the wall of champions. Andrew Ranger in a dramatic and wild finish here in Montreal. And listen to the crowd. Don Thompson Jr. will come home in second as Ranger pumps that fist. He's cooling them tires off to take one more run at the front here in a few laps. J.R. Fitzpatrick leading DJ Kennington down the back straightaway. Look at the Castrol dodge up on the outside as he powers it up. They're side by side for the lead, and Kennington will have it in a turn eight. That's some serious Doug Kennington horsepower right there. The 17 drove around the big side of J.R. Fitzpatrick. And Kennington makes his move at the right time as they pass the flag stand. They will see the white flag. One more lap to go here in those board is Kennington gets together with the 84 Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick was right crossways off of turn number 10. Here comes Buck back to the inside. DJ Kennington hitting his marks down to the outside apex of one, heading for two. Keep an eye on that red car. The 23 of Jeff Lapsovich. The Tim Hortons Dodge is right there and working on the 66 of Robin Buck. But look at J.R. Fitzpatrick saw it on the steering wheel. Kennington will lock up. Smoke off the right front of the 17 Dodge. 84 taking a look. Here we head for turn four. Look at this. Drag race across the top of the hill. Blind corner. Here we turn into the left. Heading for five. J.R. Fitzpatrick unable to close that gap on the 17 of D.J. Kennington trying every little bit of the racetrack and then some as he bangs the curves in 5A and B. Kennington drops a wheel off of the outside of turn number six. Fitzpatrick going to have to stick that thing in the draft and see if he can keep up with that horsepower of the D.J. Kennington automobile. Kennington pulled out past him the last lap, the last time we came down this straightaway. There will be... Just a couple more opportunities for Fitzpatrick to get by. Hard on the brakes for the 84. Kennington still your leader. The 23 of Lapsovich trying to get around the 66 of Buck. He cannot do it. Through nine, looking for 10 this time by the 17 of DJ Kennington. It's going to win the Vortex Brake Pads 200 here at Mosport. Wow, what a win for the Castro kid. He's got 10 wins here in NASCAR. That's his first road to green. And here we go. Turn him loose one more time. Now remember, NASCAR only allows three attempts at a green white checker. This is attempt number two. Fitzpatrick moves to the outside. Steckley has the preferred line in a turn number one. And Steckley moves to the outside. He got in too hot. Here comes the 84. Fitzpatrick down alongside. It's a drag race. This is a pretty tight little corner. Wide open throttle high gear down through here. Oh, and the 22, all kinds of loose. The 84 is the wall on the other side. DJ Kennington comes out the other side with the lead. Kennington, your leader, Hathaway is second. Battle for third between Stegley and Mix. And it's Seabird who bumps his way into third spot. He got to the back bumper. The 22 is Stegley. It's a gong show deep in the field. The 60 of Beauchamp is bumping with the 44. Up whistle. There's Geller in there as well. Here comes Buck in the 66. Wow, beating and banging short track style here on the one ways of Edmonton. Here, let's have another look at this restart. Up through the gearbox. Here we go. Down in the corner. Well, the 22. Oh, the 84 into the outside wall. And the 22 comes across and hits the other one. Amazing as a side-by-side -side action. Running on board with Steckley. There's contact. Hard into the wall was the 84. Now back into the wall goes the 22. Wow, I'm telling you what, that's hard racing on this restart. Look at this down in there. 84 comes across, 22 gets the door. 84 on the outside wall, the 22 goes across, and the 17. Jason Hathaway, the spoiler in all this one. The Rockstar Dodge 
is trying his best to get to the back bumper of the Castrol Edge Dodge. Well, he's all over it. He's hungry. He's shifting the gears. He's steering the car. But DJ Kennington keeping that car absolutely straight up off the corner. Just a few more corners to go. And guess what? We said his average finish here before was like 10th. He's going to pull off his first win here on the runways of Edmonton if he can just keep it straight for a couple more corners. Remember back one race ago on the Oval at Motoplex Speedway in Vernon, B.C., the 17th road to victory lane. The three-car of Jason Hathaway followed him home in second, poised for the same outcome here on the runways of the Edmonton City Center Airport. D.J. Kennington, just a few corners left now. He's got the three in hot pursuit. Looking at turn number 13, the final turn on this racetrack. It's a tight air pin. Wow, DJ wiggled hard under break and allowed the three to close right up. Now it's going to be a drag race down the straightaway here. Hathaway didn't quite get the bite he needed off the final corner down the front straightaway. The 17 of DJ Kennington wins his fourth in a row. Wow, what a deal. When you're hot, you're hot. Four in a row for the Castro Edge Dodge. What a race team. Race winner, the 27 of Andrew Ranger. They will lead him back to green. This is the cream of the crop. Dumoulin, Ranger, Kerry Mix, GF Dumoulin, they're scattering down into one. And Kerry Mix well to the inside of the 0-4 of GF Dumoulin. Everybody gets a little bit crossways, but gets back in line. Ranger to the back bumper of the 47. Gannett up the inside of Fitzpatrick. Contact! Three wide for a little second there. J.R. Fitzpatrick backs out of it. The man who comes in second in points wants to save his rig as they head down the back straightaway. Well, We've got a car up against the wall. There's still time here with the green-white checker. J.R. Fitzpatrick likely planning his attack. Lots of it's to the extreme inside of Dumoulin. They made contact. Dumoulin gets another bump from Kenrad in the 88. They make more contact on the turn six. And co oh, Kupal goes goodness. around and up and over. Oh, my goodness. Xavier Kupal. Four, five barrel rolls. The young driver in the 72 is obviously caution comes out. Best for Xavier Kupal. Have you ever seen one of these cars come I, apart? I have never seen a roll that violent. And you take a look at it. Cameron making contact with Dumoulin. There it is. That's where the 72 gets airborne. And watch this. Three, four, four rolls. As we watch, it was Cameron on the inside, Koupal in the middle. And I believe Hathaway was on the outside. And just wow, not one single body panel left on that car. And this is the part the most concerning. You see the head bowed of Xavier Coupal, but the good news here. These two to sort it out here in this race. Ranger will look to the outside and turn number three. He'll try to make something happen at four. Ranger all over the back of that car, not trying to show his hand right now. He was way out there on the right-hand side of that turn three, hoping Steckley had dived the bottom. Here we are for five. Steckley will be watching his mirror right here. He'll tuck it to the inside. Ranger takes a look. No contact as they make their way through five, being now down the back straightaway. Now Ranger. it's all about horsepower, Dave. Ranger will be in that draft, though. He's close enough to get a sniff of it on the back bumper of the Canadian Tire Dodge down the back straightaway. Scott Steckley leading Andrew Ranger. They're trying to get everything out of these race cars. In through turn number eight. Steckley has a bit of a gap on Ranger now. Looking to turn number nine. And here comes there Ranger he is, to the inside. inside. Steckley closed the door. There's contact. Side by side through turn number ten. And they're going to make more contact. A big hit. Steckley doesn't even lift. Takes the 27 of the outside wall. He's able to save it. He's going to get refired. The finish inside the top 10. Believe that one. Jeff Lapsovich, he's jamming that gas pedal down and riding that baby off the corner. Have a listen. You know Rangers doing the exact same thing. And the white flag is at one more lap to go. Here we go down through turn one for the last time. Andrew Ranger slipping and sliding. He's working that steering wheel. Through turn number three, it would be a tight pass to attempt through here. Lacroix happy to follow. The driver of the 27 looks like Ranger bounced off the wall as he entered turn number three. Well, you got to use it up now. There's only half a lap to go. You got to put everything out there and don't make any mistakes. Down that big long backstretch now into the braking zone for turn number six.
six. We've seen some bumper action here before, but it's all clean. Kevin Lacroix running out of good passing zones here on this circuit 20 Vier as he still chases the number 27 of Andrew Ranger. He'll get close this time. Up to the back bumper as they go over the bumps. Seven, not a good passing zone whatsoever. This one is. There he is on the bumper. He gives it to him. He moves him out of the way. Lacroix going to make his own passing zone. Crossways off the turn as Andrew Ranger comes back on the inside. They're side by side through the runoff area down the front straightaway. It's going to be side by side. Kevin Lacroix on the line by a nose. Wow, what a race day. Side by side. And he loses it down into turn one and backs at the fence. Out in the dirty part of the track for the 74 of Kevin Lacroix. And he does back it into the tire wall, but this is not going to matter. He got the checkered flag in an epic drag race. Sylvain Lacroix and crew going to congratulate each other in a little roughhousing in pit lane. Andrew Ranger has won three times here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Car. Kevin Lacroix has five wins in the NASCAR Pinty Series, and he's looking for one to open the 2017 season. This is where it matters. This run down the back straightaway. Who can find the traction they need? Where is the race leader? He's in front of Ranger somewhere, but you absolutely cannot see. Andrew Ranger, one of the drivers using the rain axe or rain away on the windscreen. No windshield wiper for the Mopar Dodge. And there's Kevin Lacroix as Ranger ducks to the outside. Coming to the white flag. Ranger to the high side. Now to the inside. Lacroix off the racetrack on the outside. Ranger's going to stay on track and take over top spot as Lacroix rejoins. He lost about a car length. That's it. Off the racetrack, through the grass, back on the racetrack. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Sliding through turn number 10 onto the front straightaway and there is the white flag to Andrew Ranger. Can he hang on to it? Kevin Lacroix is going to pressure him through turn number one. It looks like a two-car battle for the win, but anything running in third as here goes Lacroix to the outside to retake the lead. Ranger got the curbing on the exit of turn number one and that wiggled the car just enough as Lacroix got to the outside and almost into that very slick runoff. Right where Alex Tagliani did the same thing but he was able to keep it under control. Into turn number three, Ranger looks to the inside. You can hear them downshifting trying to use the engine braking rather than their brakes to slow these cars down as Ranger looks to the outside. Ranger gets a great run off of turn number three as they head up towards four. He'll be on the inside of turn four. Oh, the oh, wiggle. wiggle. Lacroix holds on. Ranger closes the gap just a little bit. In through five for the final time. Lacroix on the outside a little bit. This is where Ranger made his move coming to. The white flag was right at the end of the back straightaway. Kevin Lacroix with a good run off the corner. the tires, every single gear they grab down the back straightaway. Caden laps of it. You see the nose of the red car way off in the distance. He's sitting in third right now. This is where the lead changed hands on the last lap. Kevin Lacroix could not keep it on the racetrack. Right to the very outside of the asphalt, but he keeps it in the pole park in turn number eight. Two more turns for Lacroix. Gently through turn number nine, you see the spray off the tires. Ranger a little bit too far back to make a move into turn number 10. He'll ease it off of the final corner and give the win to the 74 of Kevin Lacroix. Andrew Ranger going to hang on for a second and out of nowhere. Here comes Gary Clute. The battle for third is side by side. Clute to the inside. Lapsovich slow to get on the gas and that's going to cost him the final podium position. Hey, back to the 18 of Alex Tagliani. White flag is out. One more lap to go. Andrew Ranger closes in. One car length off the back bumper of Lacroix. They race to turn two. Give me one more good lap. That's Don Thompson Jr. to his driver, Kevin Lacroix, as we have a battle deeper in the field. The 32 of LeBay and the 18 of Tagliani side by side. They're running, and Tagliani drives hard to the inside to try and protect that position. Fourth place up for grabs. He will not be able to do it as Alex LeBay gets the spot to the inside. Andrew Ranger building momentum up through four. Down into five. Can he make a move? Ranger looking to the inside. Lacroix taking a little bit of an outside line. They make contact. Ranger into the back bumper, the 74. All over the back end as they come off a turn number seven. Kevin Lacroix going to hold on to win over Andrew Ranger. Half a car length. The 
margin of victory. Mark Antoine Cameron will come home in third spot, but Lee Dumoulin and the WeatherTech Johns has fallen a few car lengths further adrift. Through turn number two, we're looking at turn three. This the, for the final time, and they both get a little crossways. Ranger took a more efficient line, a tighter line down through two, and it's paying off as he goes into turn three. Andrew Ranger right up on the back bumper of Kevin Lacroix. Closing on a limping number 18 of Alex Tagliani. Will that play a factor? There you see Tag up in the distance. In through turn number five now. Lacroix and Ranger is striking distance. Here he goes. Oh, Kevin Lacroix around up the front bumper of Andrew Ranger. And around the outside goes the 47 of LP Dumoulin. Into the lead. Smoking the rear tires is Kevin Lacroix as he gathers it back up. Dumoulin, your new leader, Ranger in second, and Mark Antoine Cameron, the 22 up to third. LP Dumoulin by 20 car lengths down into turn number eight. All he has to do is finish clean to make his first win in how many seasons, Dave? Since 2014, it's been 40 starts since the driver of the Weather Tech Dodge. He won the championship back in 2014, but he hasn't tasted victory lane in a long time. He'll do that today in race number one here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Andrew Ranger second, Mark Antoine Cameron, and Noah Briggs with the big great run. The lead battle out of turn two. It's just about two car lengths into the right-hander at three. Alex Tagliani trying to hold on, but that bumper-to-bumper -bumper dodge of pole sitter Kevin Lacroix is all over him. Lacroix struggling to try to get close enough to have a run here at the race leader. Down through turn number four, up the hill into turn five. Kevin Lacroix right there on the back bumper of Tagliani. They close in, and it'll be a drag race down the Mario Andretti straightaway. And out of turn 5B, Lacroix trying to close here on Tagliani, but he's got a very stout race car. Tagliani gets a great drive out of the hairpin and again stretches out about six car lengths up the Andretti straightaway into the top of the S's for the final time. Down into turn number eight, Kevin Lacroix closes the distance on Tagliani. They'll come up through nine. Lacroix loves this move. He swings to the inside into 10. Contact in turn 10. Tagliani out to the wall. He saves it, but Kevin Lacroix is going to win the Total Courts 200. Holy moly, what a move! Cameron second, two.